Hi everyone, Joy with Brady Repairs here, and I have a question. Have you ever bought a game on cartridge from eBay, local game store, any of those places, and you get it home, you clean it out with rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip like everyone online says to do to clean the contacts, and you put it into your Super Nintendo, you flip the switch, just to find out it doesn't start. Well, I'm going to show you today how to fix that. And just to prove to you this Super Nintendo does in fact work and I'm not just pulling your leg on anything, here's a copy of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So as you can see, this Super Nintendo does in fact work. But the particular game I bought here to play does not, even though I have cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. So today I'm going to show you how to clean this up and get it working about 99% of the time if it's just dirty traces. So let's get to it. Alright, so choose the intro side. This is pretty straightforward and easy. You're just going to need a couple of tools and items. So first you need your game you're going to clean up. You need to have a game bit screwdriver that will fit into the screws on your cartridge. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol. Uh, 99 or oh, 91 to 99 percent is best for this and this is where it's a little different from everyone else you're going to need some of this barkeep's friend uh, brasso will work as well if that's what you have in your area but you're going to need a little bit of this stuff and some q-tips so all you got to do is take your game apart now there are some people online who think that taking your game apart makes it depreciate in value as someone who has been selling games online for half a decade now, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't affect the value at all. If anything, it increases the value because this is your chance to fix anything that's wrong with it. Like, if you have a bad save battery, this is your chance to fix it. it to me, that makes it worth more if it actually, you know, works. So if you look carefully at this board, you can see it's got some pretty nasty corrosion and crud on there. Yeah, see, it's got some pretty nasty corrosion. Pretty, pretty bad. And I did clean this with rubbing alcohol. Now I can go over it again real quick to show you. It will get stuff off, but it will not get all of it off. So let's, so you can see it. Let's put a little bit of rubbing alcohol into a Q-tip. And we'll just take a quick little scrub here. And you can see stuff's coming off. But it's not, it's not really getting that corrosion and nastiness off. It's helping, but it's not doing much. So then what helps is I like to put it in a little ramekin-like dish. You put the barkeep's friend, or brasso, in there. You just kind of dip it in there. You don't have to get too much. It really does not take much of this stuff. And you just rub it on. You'll see there's a lot of stuff going on, like moving around on top of this here. And then I'll, because that's pretty worn out already, I'll go ahead and dip it back in here and I'll do the other side and I'll let it sit a little bit because it does work a little better that way if it sits first. And so this stuff is basically a metal polishing compound. Um, I've used it for cleaning stainless steel sinks that had really stuck on crud. Um, it says on the package it will do rem it will remove stains and tarnishes. It's really good stuff to have around in your kitchen in general, but it's also really good to have around to clean up your games. Okay, so you can see it definitely has left a layer of of like liquidy corroded goop on there. So then you take your rubbing alcohol and your Q-tip again, Oop, a little too much there, and then you just, after it's sat for a little bit, you just wipe it off. You want to make sure you get all of it off because this stuff is an acid. It will break down the contacts on the board over time if you're not careful, and don't get it all off, but if you just go over this once or twice with a Q-tip, it's been soaked in rubbing alcohol, it'll pull it right off. Okay, so let's load the Q-tip back up again the alcohol.
And we'll just go over this one more time. Now, I don't remember where I saw this tip. Uh, it was... I was trying to fix a copy of Super Mario Bros. Or Super Mario World I had on the Super Nintendo a few years back. And I just I found this on some random old forum from like 15 years ago. Somebody recommended this. So if you look there, you can see it's actually gotten rid of all that green corroded crap. It's kind of shined up the pins a little bit. Uh, there's obviously some stuff I, it did not get rid of. Uh, I'm not going to bother with it. I've already checked this with the multimeter. There's continuity. It just wasn't making good contact in the Super Nintendo is my guess. And from here you just take it Obviously, if there's anything else, like the battery is dead or something like that, and I check that with a multimeter, it's also good. If there's anything else broken on here, you'd go and fix it now. I don't believe there's anything else wrong with this, so I'm going to put it back in the case. And I will see you back at the Super Nintendo to test this out. Alright everyone, we're back here at the Super Nintendo, so let's pop this game in. We'll turn it on, and then adjust you so you can see the TV. And see that we do have a working copy. The sound does work, I just muted it because I don't want to get any copyright claims or anything like that on this. Uh, so this barkeep's friend method is not what I try first. I always, always, always try rubbing alcohol first. Reason being, barkeep's friend is a polishing compound and what that means it will eventually eat away at the traces if you use it enough times because you're it's the equivalent of using very, very, very fine sandpaper. So it does technically damage the cartridge pins, but no more than some of the other more extreme methods I've seen of people using sandpapers and other abrasives or, or fiberglass pins to uh, remove corrosion from cartridge pins. So I recommend this if you want a low cost, uh, easy to find item, um, chemical compound to remove the rust with. Not rust, wow, remove the corrosion with. Because I think a bottle only costs two dollars maybe at Walmart. Uh, this works. I would say give it a shot if you've got any games that rubbing alcohol just doesn't seem to clean very well or at all. And thank you for watching. If you like this uh, little tip video kind of thing, let me know and like it. And if you didn't like it, dislike it. I don't care. Uh, until next time.